Listen to Common Fossil. We'll be taking a look at United Wings, in particular taking a look at United Wings with the sudden transformation ditto because they finally fixed it in live. It now works. So we want to take a look at how much better United Wings is with the sudden transformation ditto. What the ability does, and the ditto, by the way, doesn't have an attack. It's a basic 70 HP Pokemon with no attack, but the ability sudden transformation. And this Pokemon can use the attacks of any basic Pokemon in your discard pile, except for a Pokemon with a roll box. You still need the energy to use this attack. And this is really good with United Wings for two reasons. So first off, we have these attackers, United Wings attackers, right? We have four of them now that they put, put Publish the Dark Tricks. That's really good. So by having the Ditto, we can potentially get all 16 United Wings of the discard pile. That's potentially 320 damage. So it allows another 20 damage potential because we don't have to have any United Wings Pokemon in the active spot. Then it also helps us out because within the basic Pokemon attackers, we have the Watchful and the Flamigo that both take two colorless energies. We do play double turbo, but the the Murkrow, which is also a good attacker, attacks for one darkness energy. Of course, darkness energy, if that doesn't reduce by 20 like you like uh, double turbo, so that's another plus. But then, since we only play seven energies in the deck uh, with this build, uh, four of darkness, three double turbo, uh, we don't always have the energies in hand to attack with the Murkrow or Flamigo, depending if we only have the option of one or the other. But by having Ditto, it also allows us to use either type of energy to attack with as long as we have a copy of each in the discard pile. It's a lot easier to get copies of the discard pile than have copies on the bench to promote the active. So besides the extra 20 damage, very good there. It gives us energy flexibility. So for both those things, it's a big plus to the deck. So let's go take a look at the deck in action. Then I'll go over the 60 at the end of the gameplay as I kind of recap the video and let me share my thoughts on where this list is at. All right, see what happens here. I got a loss against Palkia last time, which Palkia is not terrible. And it was a different Palkia deck than I've seen, which is always nice to see new decks. Palkia, the good news for, for me playing United Wings is they're weak to my, I have a lightning attacker. So, the, you know, United Wings compared to Mad Party, Mad Party hit having the, hitting for psychic weakness at the time was pretty good. Um, but um, it, you know, it's, it's the weaknesses right, right now. Hitting for lightning weakness is pretty good in some matchups, obviously. And ha hitting for grass weakness is, is really good. So, um, you know, those are the nice things. I will, my first or second, by the way, going second. Um, I'll send up, I'll send up a Murkrow, I guess. He could attack, potentially. If I get the Ditto, uh, you know, that that maybe was the way to play. Um, if if I, I needed to get the uh, Squawkable EX, right? I could take a prize this turn, I'm guessing. I'll see what I have off his, his in Heavy Ball, and then see what I hit off Capturing Aroma. Hopefully, I hit a Squawkable EX. That's really what I need. I have it, you know, I, I uh, with Squawk. I'm, look, I'm not guaranteed to get the Knockout even with that. Because I don't, I need, right now I only get one Pokemon in the discard pile. I mean, I could, assume I hit, hit Squawk with EX, which I, sh eh, it's a little better than 50-50, right? The Capture Room was a coin flip, so if, if it comes up, whichever way it is, it doesn't really matter. The game will tell me whether, it will show me the choices. Um, I, I always forget between the heads and tails, which is which. But that's 50-50 on the coin toss for Squawkability EX, right? And that, But I have Heavy Ball, and I and so there's a chance I hit it off the Heavy Ball. So it's 50% on the on the Capturing Aroma, plus in, it, which gets increased because of so we had Heavy Ball. And I draw for a turn as well, right? Um, Energy is always tricky with this deck. Magma Basin. Okay, so... Oh, what was that Lumini Envy? Yes. Okay. I'll blinged out. Wow. Everybody's decks are blinged out these days. It seems like the blinging out has increased lately. And look, you, live is very affordable, so you can bling out your decks if you want to play a lot of variety of decks. Then you can't. If you bling them, you, I don't think you can't not spend money, play a, a wide variety of decks, and bling them all out. You could. Uh, it depends how wide a variety you want, right? But if you want to stick to the top decks, which I get it, I'm not, I, I get it. I mean, no criticism if that's what you want to do. Um, you, Rotom V, okay. So they, they're protecting their Charizard, which is important for them. I get that. Um, 
do I... I guess I heavy ball first. All right, Grant, which gets me Pokemon in the discard pile, which is useful. Pheasantipity, okay, that's good. Uh, what else do I have? I have a double turbo, so that's always a big deal. I have a Carmen. So let's see what I hit here. I have Grant, so... I can play Grant and get some cards. Uh, is this what I wanted? I want... No, not really. Okay. I mean, it could be worse. Um... I'll play Grant, and I'll get rid of a couple of guys here, right? And I'll just give a poke. Might as well attack this turn. I don't see why I wouldn't. Then I'm going to recover the Grant. I get two Pokemon in the discard pile. So this is why I play Grant in the deck, right? It can't just, it's, a, it's, it's kind of like an Ultra Ball you can play every turn by the recovering it. Now I have to discard it again in order to... Uh, I, you know, I wish it didn't come into hand, honestly, but that's okay. So I do give a little 40 poke, and, you know, we'll see what happens. They probably knock me out, it, but the good news is if they need to knock out the Murkrow here, because if they don't knock out the Murkrow, I can attach attach and retreat off the Ditto, but I can't attack with the Ditto with one Darkness Energy unless Murkrow's in the discard pile. So they take out the Murkrow, I can attack, um, but I really need to get the, um, I, need, I need to get the basic um, Rowlet down. Right, because I need to be able to... He will get me so I can one-shot a Charizard EX. I just have one of the basic, though, because you need, all, you need what, 16 United Wings attackers in the deck. And I have a couple Dittos, and I have Pheasantipity, so your Pokemon take up a lot of deck space. That's one of the things with a deck like this. You're, you're putting a ton of deck space into Pokemon, and it just hurts the overall consistency of the deck, right? That's kind of unavoidable. So not surprised to see NTV, because they are playing Magma Basin, which Charizard decks don't normally play, because Charizard powers itself up, right? If you can play Charizard EX, the only reason you'd want Magma Basin with Charizard EX is if you think you're seeing Iron Thorns. I'm sure there's more Iron Thorns these days, uh, because it won, won Worlds. And look, Iron Thorns is a very solid Pokemon, so I, I don't... Uh, let me adjust the microphone a tiny bit there. Uh, didn't want to do it too much just because I don't want to jump, have the volume level jump mid video too much, but it looked like the sound's a little low. So in fact, I'm going to increase it a little more, try moving it in a little more, see if, if it works better. So they're going to, assume they have energy in hand, they take the knockout. I probably don't take the knockout myself. I mean, it, it's very unlikely right now I do. I do 60, I think. That's that's well short of where I need to be. The NTV does help also with, against my grass attack. Right? You know, the NTV is nice with Charizard because Charizard is weak to grass because it changes types. So, but it still uses fire energy. So, if you, if you play it like something like an NTV, you've covered your weakness. So, um, let me pheasant dipity. Hopefully, I don't hit energy. That's what I don't want to see here. I did not. Um, I can research here. That's really good. Um, okay, because I'll hit. I get. I get to grab the flamigos, so that's good. I want those guys into hand. One, two, three. Um, I'm gonna research, which is good too. Um, I'll see what I can get going here. So I have. I'm doing 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I mean, the question is, can I get the knockout here? And the answer to that is probably not, right? Probably not. But let me let me dig. Let me try to get the knockout. That's the goal here. I really would like to get that grass guy in the discard pile. I'd rather attack, be able to attack with a Murkrow probably than a Watchful just because... Let me see the energy situation. Two and two. Okay. I mean, also, my stadium is very good in this matchup. So depending on my opponent, what they're playing. So I will research. It gets more cards. I have Grant. I can get rid of two more cards with a Grant, which is good, too. Um, 140. So I can... No, I don't want to collapse Stadium, I don't think. Let me... So I can... drop him down. I, I, I don't have enough for the knockout, period, right? So don't really think I want to so I do 140 there's really nothing I can do about that okay I can't get the knockout here I would say so let me drop down the ditto 
It's not terrible. Did I mess up and not place? Could I? Maybe I should have. And now I'm trying to remember how the first turn went. Could I have squawk and seize that turn? Um, so I think I just attack. That's the best thing to do. I could get one more Pokemon in the discard pile, but I don't really think it helps me. So let me just United Wings one four. I could get up to one sixty, but he's at. Um, you know, he's still short with 20 more damage. He's still, I still didn't get knocked out. I can t attack with Flamigo next turn. Hopefully on the end AV, if they, if they were to switch into Charizard, I should be able to get the knockout, I think, with the Rowlet, with the Dartrix. Um, he did, what, 140, so he, I need more damage. I, I, I don't have it yet. I will say that. Don't have the knockout yet, but... Uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, they have water energy. I wasn't expecting that. Well, that's scary because I haven't benched Manaphy. I'm assuming they can't do it this turn. But I need to get Manaphy on the bench then. Uh, that's that's okay. I can get Manaphy down if my hand stays. I have I have Nest Ball. Manaphy's not in the discard pile, right? So, okay. Scary, 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 scary. If they attack with NTV, I send up Flamigo and take the knockout and get another... Uh, a nice attacker. I get another, which then gets me United Wings the discard pile the following turn. So they're not attacking with Radiant Charizard. Um, they take the knockout. I get the counter knockout. That's really good for me. Um, Flamigo gets the knockout. If, if they, he, and then that's okay. Energy, watching the energy situation is always tricky with these decks. Um, you know, my personal, okay, Murkrow. Um, I don't know that I want to. So right now, so 140, which is what I'm doing. So I, I have the knockout. So let me, I don't think I want to collapse stadium because I think that helps my opponent at this point, right? So let me look, let me get out of Manaphy, right? And that's what I want there. And I probably get that neutralization zone. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I do. So get rid of Collapse Stadium. And and I, because of the energy situation, I'm just, let me, I'm going to discard a Pokemon that I just don't want in play, right? I mean, I could evolve the Dartrix, but I think that's the wrong play. I'm just gonna I'm gonna discard him. Just up my damage level 140 gets me to because I don't need the extra damage, right? If I needed the extra damage, I, I would have kind of switched up the order here. Um Okay, well that that's fine too. Let me let me draw some cards. Um Okay, that's not bad. Um Actually Tatsugiri would be good, right? Um let me see if I can get him in play. Because I have Rescue Board now. Let's, am I grabbing a Stage 1 or Stage 2? Grabbing the Stage 1. I'll, I'll, I'll evolve him. Might as well, since I just grabbed him. I was thinking I might need to evolve him anyway. And now my opponent knows that I have him in hand. He attacks for one energy, which means he can use either energy, which is actually good as well. Um, so I will just attack... We'll see what happens here. I have knockout 160. I'll do 180 or 200 with a, a base basic energy. Um, so it's, it's not like I've caught up on prizes. Um, I yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. I would like to get. I'd like to get my uh, neutralization zone in play. If if he can stick, I'm I'm in an amazing spot. My opponent has Pidgey X, so they play Magma Base and they play more than one. My stadium won't stick, but the good the, what it does mean though is my opponent then has to. So I can't really one shot. Um, actually, what? So I get Ionode, not a shocker. We'll see what I draw. I could have attached the tool just to somebody for some switching as well. Okay, so I have Merkur. I have Boss. Um, not terrible. I think I send up. We'll see what happens. If they attack with Charizard EX, I send up the Dartrix, right? Assuming if they knock out the Flamingo, I send up the Dartrix because 
he does his job. The, the Dartrix is here. The takeout one charge are the EX, right? Not a problem. And they don't have a bench space for a second guy to get powered up now, which is good. They got the energy on the Radiant Greninja. Um, but that's not the worst thing in the world for me. It's definitely not. Um, because I, I have Manaphy down. So he actually doesn't take any prizes at this point. Um, they have to gust up the Manaphy and play Canceling Cologne. They, they may... I mean... I was really surprised when they slapped down that. What was that? Fighting energy as well? So this deck is. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, look, I don't actually know what Torrid's Charizard deck is. So I haven't really looked at it too much. So maybe. I don't think it played NTV, though. So I'm just saying. I know his is a little bit of a different Charizard deck. I think it was a 2 1 2 line. So it didn't play a lot of. Um, a very thin Charizard line. So powering up. So he's getting the Radiant Greninja ready to attack as well. He's got to attach one more time from hand, which he's doing this turn. Um, I, oh, wow. Okay. I mean, so what are they doing here? They're going to attack with... Uh, I guess I send up... What's the damage level? I have one, two, three. Oh, so okay. Well, if they attack here, I've got to use... I got to set up the, the dart tricks. It's, it's really simple. I need to hit energy though, but I have, I, I, this isn't bad. This is not bad at all. I have explorer's guidance, so I should, I'll just need an energy. I think either type of energy is fine. So, you know, if I had the Tatsugiri, I, if I could have hit him last turn, so he's going to one shot them. I will, might as well explore his guidance first. I want neutralization zone. I want the energy. That that's what I want. So that's easy peasy. Um, so I'm doing big damage now. Big big damage. So 440. Um, let me draw some cards. And I think I do want to get rid of like these Murkrow, a Murkrow and a Dartrix too. Um, actually, while well, I'm at it, right? So let me. Let me use... I mean, I play a rod, but I'm trying to think if, if there's any way that I would want to... Um, I'll get rid of both Murkrows, right? I mean, I could attack with Murkrow, too. What, what's the surprise? I have four, so I'm looking to... I'll do this. I have Rod, so I'm just doing more damage now, right? That's the beauty of this. Um, I'll attach energy. I will drop down Neutralization Zone. I will slap down my Tatsugiri as well, because if, if I hit my... Uh, and, I and I blow him up big time, obviously. So that's the nice thing. That that's Besides being a fourth United Wings Pokemon, which is a huge deal, it's also... A um, all right, double turbo. So I have game in hand right now. I can just attack with Ditto, use double turbo, and knock them out. And honestly, if they right now they they can knock me out with they can't they right now they have to attack with Raiding Greninja unless they have canceling cologne. Right now, canceling cologne's interesting, or they bought my stadium actually. They just bought my stadium, probably right. That that's the real deal. Um, so I, I mean, I'll gust up Rotom V probably. I send up Ditto. Right, I have now. I might get Iono. I might lose my hand. Um, they, they haven't played it. They play an A spec. No. So they might play um, Unfair Stamp as well. So we'll see. Now I have Pezzendipity. That's the good news. But if I can, um, if I can maintain Boss, Boss, and I need Energy, right? Energy is a huge deal. So they're gonna get down. Another Charmander, I, I'm assuming. Yeah, that, I mean, because Charizard X is still very good. And I only play one of the basic. And most United Wings players, I'm, I don't know what the counts are at these days exactly. Um, and again, it's not a, well, it's not, well, it's not, a, and again, it's not really a top deck. So I don't, there's certain lists, if you could probably go to limit lists for the online stuff that are common. But okay, they're lead, so they're going to Manaphy. Okay, it's a, now, I have game in hand, though. That's the good news. So if they, they cancel in Cologne, they can take out Manaphy and Dartrix, which I assume is their play. 
Um, if they leave Dartrix, I mean, that's I still have game in hand. I have boss. I had I have energy for the ditto, and so I'm okay. It, it's you know, it's it's just it's it's all it's I'm I'm good. I, I it's it's all good. So um, I'm not sure what they're gonna do here. You know, an interest. You know, Charizard with NTV. So like I said, the, it, it gives it some protection. The NTV covers the gives protection for Grass Weakness. Okay, so they don't play Prime Catcher. They play Legacy Energy, um, which is a good play there too. That's a good play. I like that. Um, it's a good card to have um, because that way, if I one shot, you know, if they get to Charizard EX, so they get, oh, oh, so they got my stadiums going away. So that's good for them. Bad for me. Um, doesn't matter this turn. They have the knockout. They're going to take two prizes. I have game in hand, though, which they don't know, of course. Um, so I have energy, and I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I just do the love the damage I need. Um, I, I should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I think 12, 8, 9, 10. I have 13, I think. So I, I do more than enough. Oh, they didn't have canceling cologne, so that's that's good for me. They missed cancel. They didn't have can't. They forgot. Well, or they just had to pick, right? Um, so they should not have done that. Well, I mean, I guess the thing is, if they set up their two prizer and I and I because they don't know I have boss in hand, right? So I'll just send you up. So you're doing big damage for me, which is fine. And but so I can just boss up Rotom V. Doesn't matter, but you've got the lowest HP at the moment. And away we go. 260. So take, t you know, ha have game. So <laughs> why am I getting thumbs down? I don't know why these things are sometimes. I, I Now, is it just, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, is, is it, you know, I, I don't know. Wh whatever. Uh, actually, the tutorials in live, t the, 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 the AI gives you thumbs down whenever, like, you take a knockout, which isn't good. I, I So I don't know why, you know, they're encouraging bad behavior. But look, I'm just I'm playing United Wings. And I'm not playing a control deck. I just take it a knockout. I played a boss for game. I don't really think that needs a, a thumbs down. But anyway, United Wings uh, worked well that game. Uh, hitting for grass weakness was good. Um, it all came together very nicely. All right, see what happens here. Um, next, th th look, United Wings is pretty good. It, it, it really is. Um, if, if, if you want to play it consistently, you'll get really good with the plays with any deck. Um, it, it, it's look the spread damage of like um, drag up hold the ex or Reggie Drago ex is really bad for you know unless you want to play Rabscut I don't think I mean the deck plays Manaphy you could slot in a one one Rabscut the problem is first deck space is a big issue because I have way too many basic Pokemon all right I'm gonna slap am I first or second by the way I'm second Murkrow I might be able to attack that would be good right I have Carmen. Um, so I, I go going for the knockout. That that's a given. I think I pokey stop probably. My pokey stop for no. Let me nest ball first because I need squawk with the ex on the bench. That's what I need to do. So I need to, which gets me one two. But I need two more. I just need well. I need a third one in the discard pile, and then I need um, I need a darkness energy, right? Actually, the Rowlet is good to bench because. He uh, takes out the Charizard EX. So, uh, right, the Dartrix, he evolves the Dartrix, and I want Dartrix to attack with. So, um, starting with Rowlet in hand is good. Hopefully, Squawkabilly's in the deck. Um, I mean, I, yeah. All right, let's see. I mean, Squawkabilly's the big thing here. So, squawk, get my Squawkabilly down. Let's see the energy situation, because that's always tricky. Three, two. So, two, I pull, so two Darkness Energy are prize. So, that my odds of pulling that of, of you pulling off my uh, do I want a stadium first? I think I do. I think I want a stadium first. Um, obviously, I don't want to discard a double turbo energy though. All right, didn't okay. Got. I mean, that's good. Come on, don't 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 freeze up, game. Don't freeze up. Come on, come on. I mean, I don't even have. Okay, good. So let me. I'll get another Pokemon in the discard pile. So if I hit, I need to hit my Darkness Energy, which is a good chance I get that. Okay. Ditch a Dartrix, that's fine. Uh, give me a Darkness Energy, and I have Knockout. The problem is 
double turbo and I can't attack. So, <sighs> not loving this. Um, let me. I'm going to explore his guidance because because that gives me the best odds of hitting what I need here. Let me drop down the Flamigo. He, actually, Flamigo is good because he thins out my deck uh, the most. Well. Yeah, that one's well. Yeah, uh, the problem is, is I thought I was hoping I'd have more flamigos in deck. So two flamigos are prized too. It looks like, right? That that part's unfortunate. Still could thin my deck that little bit more with the flamigo. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use my because because I I I because I'm gonna ultra ball away. I mean, I would have liked to have discarded, gotten more flamigos out, but I'll get rid of the. And I'll get rid of Grant, because Grant is something you really want in the discard pile anyway. And I will drop down a Ditto, I think, because at this... I mean, I could get an, an attack... Uh, you know, it wings the discard for next turn. But I'm going to drop down a Ditto. That's my play there. And now I'll explore his Guidance. See what I get. Hopefully I get the... I got the Darkness Energy... Let that is awesome. All right, do I want Night Stretcher? I think I want Heavy Ball, right? Let me think. What was prized? Anything really crucial? I'm trying to remember now. I think I'll grab Night Stretcher because he's actually really good. That's good. Okay, so I have the Knockout, which is great there. I'm going to drop down Ditto. And I'm going to drop down Pheasantipity because if they take a Knockout... He's great. And uh, take the knockout. So sorry sorry for the slow turn opponent, but wow. <laughs> the visual effects are like in, in turbo mode. There's some days when the visual effects in the game just kick themselves up to be some crazy level. Um, I don't know what it is. I, if I exit the game, it kind of resets and doesn't do it all the time. But just sometimes the effects are just, they're, kind of, they're very overpowering. It's not so enjoyable. So that was a really great turn. I have boss. If my opponent... Look, they're probably going to get Buddy Buddy Poffin. If they only get one more Charmander down next turn, I would gust that and take it out. I might actually gust up the Pidgey and take him out, if that's what they do. Okay. I mean, that's... Wow. All right. I mean, that's tremendous. Um, so they're... I mean, I don't know. Let's say I have something good in hand. They're not doing much. They're just... I think they just attach the tool and just, like, go stall here. Just try to... You know, we'll see. I mean, they, they can grab a supporter here or something like that, too. They, they may grab Arvin. Um, so, uh, I have to kind of think this through. It's a little bit of a weird spot. I could Carmen, certainly, which isn't bad. I mean, Boss is still good, though. I don't know if I want it, but the problem is Boss isn't great right now. Um... So we'll, we'll kind of see. I mean, at some point, I might need to also use the... I mean, having this Night Stretcher is really good. I get. I might need to grab a, a Dartrix with him as well, right? Oh, taking out the Dusk... Oh, okay. Well, if this is it, I think I boss up the Char... The char I mean, I think I, I boss up the Charmander. Really? Um, okay. What the, was that a Turo? Okay. I mean, I could gust up the Dusk, but I think I want to take out the, the next Charmander. Just keep them from setting up is really the play here. Um, yeah. I, I'll use my stadium, I think. Um, and probably use my, my boss. Uh, okay. Those are good cards to get rid of, too. Um, I don't think I want a Carmen yet, do I? I mean, I could up the damage, but... Um, I don't really think I need to yet, right? Um, so they concede. So, hey, um, deck worked. You know, I, I was taken out. They, they, they could have gone for two Charmanders on the bench, but instead they uh, they wanted to get the, the, the Dust Skull down, which I get it. Um, but because they, they didn't, they left themselves vulnerable to a boss. It sent, well, they couldn't do it. They were another turn away. Could they have gotten enough going? They might have because eventually... With the Duskull, Dusklops, Dusk Norline, they can take out my um, my Rowlet, right? 
But hey, got the win. That's great. And um, look, what I'll say is with United Wings, the deck's a lot better. Let's go into a, the uh, look at the 60 card list in a little more detail. All right, so things went well with the deck all in all. It was a bit weird. Um, the, the different decks I saw was, was, was just a weird mismatch, which is mishmash, which is fine. But it meant to led to some f funny games. Um, all right, so United Wings, obviously, with the release of um, the, the latest set, we have the new Dartrix, which is a United Wings attacker. Oh, what Shrouded Fable it is, right? Which, which gives us a fourth United Wings. So now we have 16 United Wings attackers. That's really good. And we hit for Grass Weakness, really good as well. It's stage one, which makes it a little awkward. But of course, there, if there's a basic walling deck, it goes around, around that as well. So that is a plus there. But like having a fourth one, like having Grass Weakness. And the other good thing is finally they fixed the Ditto with Sudden trans Transformation ability. Right, it lets us to copy any non-rule box basic. Pokemon can't copy Dartrix, can't copy a rule box, but we're copying either like the nice thing which i said in the intro is we can copy the murkrow and use a darkness energy we can copy the flamigo or the watchful and use a double turbo energy so it gives us flexibility and of course the flamigo which has the insta flock ability is really good for this deck um, you play it down ideally turn one on your bench search your deck hopefully you have three flamigos in deck you grab them in your hand and then you discard them with like Squawkable EX or something, so very good there. And of course you want to attack someone. It does have the highest HP, which has some value at times as well. And then um, we have the Rowlet, so we can hit for Lightning Weakness, Darkness Weakness, and Grass Weakness. Very good set of cards. They're playing one Mana Fee because we have to protect the bench as well. Doesn't Dippity EX is just really good with the deck because we're getting knocked out. We need to draw cards that you, you will find if you play this deck that a lot of decks can gust you up and one-shot your Pheasant Dippity, and that's difficult. But, you know, if that's what they do, they probably have left your attacker alone, and hopefully you have enough damage to, can do enough damage to, to, to knock out what, what attacked your Pheasantipity. So, but that's a tricky thing. And in recovering the Pheasantipities, which we can do, say with Night Stretcher, slap it back on the bench, get us the cards. The problem is, when I do that half, at least it feels like most of the time my opponent just gusts up the Pheasantipity a second time and knocks it out. So... Uh, that's a little tricky there. One copy of Squawk Billy could play a second copy because Squawk and Seize is really important your first turn, whether you're going first or second. Right, discard your hand, draw six cards. We've got to get those cards in the discard pile. So it's very good there. And Tatsugiri, I like this. Again, we don't really have an engine, so we have the Pheasantipity after we've been knocked out. And the Tatsugiri, uh, if it's in the active, search your deck for anyone. Look at the, I'm sorry, look at the top seven or six cards in your deck. You put a supporter card in your hand there, so that helps things a lot. And we do play Rescue Board to get that going. Then we, in terms of energy, four basic Darkness Energy, because that's what we attack with Murkrow, and, and, and with Ditto, too, when we're copying Murkrow. And then three Double Turbos. You could play a fourth Double Turbo. You know, I, I'm always nervous about running out, running out of energies. My preference would be to put a fourth one in, but you know what? It doesn't need it. So if I'm willing to play with three Double Turbos, that means you definitely don't need a fourth Double Turbo, because if it was at all necessary, I would be insisting on it. So... It's some you'll wish you had an extra energy sometimes, and when energy is a prize, it's tricky. But most of the time, you're okay. And part of the deal is you have so many Pokemon in the deck, we don't have room for much energies in the deck, in order so we can have trainers, right? So that's the trade-off. It, it's the seven energy is enough. We all right. Let's just run through the trainers really quickly. One heavy ball, you need it. Um, you'd have to add another Pheasant Dippy, another Squawk Ability in order to drop the heavy ball. And plus, you want to get your United Wings Pokemon out anyway. You could actually could drop a second Sin Heavy Ball in the deck. Wouldn't be terrible. One copy of Grant. We don't have a Fighting Pokemon. To, it boosts Fighting Pokemon's attack damage by 30. We don't have it for that. With the discard pile, you can discard two cards from hand, which, of course, would be United Wings Attackers want to do. They put the Grant back into your hand. So get it, it's an extra discard a couple times over the course of a game. It is really good. Playing two copies of Carmen. If we go first, this is the support we want. We discard your hand, draw five cards. If you go first, you squawk about the EX, you play Carmen. You've now dug through your deck super, super turbo turn. One one copy of Pokestop. Um, the deck plays three different stadiums, so you know you never know quite what you have when. But Pokestop's good in the discard is three cards, of course. It's bad that you can only recover items when you do that, so you lose energies, you lose Pokemon, you lose supporters. Well, losing Pokemon's good for the most part, right? But losing the supporters and the state and the energies can be bad. Two copies of Night Stretcher, really good in the deck. Uh, one rod, two Night Stretchers. I think that is the the balance. That's kind of the level I, I I like it at. That I wouldn't reduce either one probably. 
Um, you know, unless, I don't know, maybe you could drop in, uh, your super rod and put in a third Night Stretcher. I, that I don't know. Um, Night Stretcher goes, a Pokemon or a basic energy from the discard pile into your hand. Super rod, of course, puts up to three from into your deck from the discard pile. Um, putting it into hands is really good, so I really like it. So at least two Night Stretchers, maybe a third and drop, drop the rod. A rescue board to work with Tatsugiri is good. Two Nest Balls, get our Squawkabilly in play, get our Pheasant Dipty in play. Three Capturing Armor. Really good in this deck, particularly now that we have the uh, Dartrix, right? You flip a coin. Uh, what if, if it's heads and search for an evolution, if tails search for a basic, they're both good. And now that we have the stage one United Wings, we get a United Wings Pokemon, whether it's heads or tails. One copy of Kieran lets us switch. Gives us 30 more damage for opponent's active Pokemon. Um, maybe this could go from the deck. Look, the extra 30 damage is important. We need that to one-shot the big guys, but... We have to get the cure in, in our hand the turn we need it. It just probably doesn't happen. So maybe this could go. I got very little value out of this card, I gotta say. For Professor's Research, we gotta discard cards and set up. So research for is a must there. Um, and then two bosses orders, just really, really good uh, supporter. So that's the list. Like I said, maybe I would drop the Kieran. I don't know what I'd add then, honestly. Maybe a pal pad might might be the way to go. I'm not sure. Um, but but a nice deck. Oh, and then Collapse Stadium. I skipped. Uh, no, I skipped the last <laughs> row and a half. So sorry. Collapse Stadium gets us our. You know, if we have a full bench, it gets a Squawkability EX out of play, which is good, or it gets United Wings Pokemon out of play for 20 more more damage. So good for both those accounts. Playing Explorer's Guidance, two copies of that. That's really nice. Once you've got research is really good early on, or but if you have a lot of energies in hand, you don't want to research. So Explorer's Guidance is good. You put. Discard, look at the top six, four of them get discarded, two go into hand. So there's a good chance you're getting one or two. Probably, you know, you can get like two United Wings cards in the discard pile. Maybe get an energy and something else. It's, it's a pretty good mix. It's, it's a good card in the deck. I like it. Four Ultra Balls, discard some Pokemon, and uh, draw some Pokemon. That's good. We I don't play Earth and Vessel in the deck. That could go in the deck. You know, maybe Earth and Vessel, I dropped the Kieran. I don't know. You just could, you discard a card, which could be a United Wings. Search for an energy. I kind of like that. Playing Neutralization Zone as the A spec. Haven't gotten a lot of value out of that. You could cut that. Um, then what do you play instead? Uh, maybe Prime Catcher just for some more gusting. I don't play Counter Catcher in the deck. Counter Catcher could certainly go in the deck nicely as well. Um, you know, those uh, items are good to, since we do play Pokestop. You could drop this and put in a second Pokestop as well. Neutralization Zone, what it does is prevents damage done to Pokemon that don't have a rule box, such as the United Wings Pokemon, by attacks your opponent's EX and V Pokemon. So, potential, you know, it's got the potential to be good, um, but you've got to get it in play in the right matchup, then you've got to get it not from being, keep it from being bumped, and all that's, it's very fragile. And one switching card, I think that's necessary. Um, yeah. So maybe Neutralization Zone, swap it out for Prime Catcher, and maybe Kieran could go. Those are those are kind of the, the cards that I think are on the fringe that could go. Uh, you need Banaphy. You could try a 1-1 Rabska line. I haven't done that. I, I, I think it's too slow. But Rabska, it's got the spherical shield ability, prevents damage, and, and effects of attacks uh, from your opponent's Pokemon done to your bench Pokemon. So it's, it, it does, stop, does what Banaphy does, protects the bench from damage. Also stops effects right back like Gerbrachi does against like Sableye when your master's begin lost zone, but also stops the damage counters being from uh, Dragapult EX and Richie Draco V-Star when it copies Dragapult EX, which obviously is a big thing. And, you know, if your opponent places six damage counters, they knock out a Watchroll or a Murkrow, and that's not a good thing. Giving up multi-prize turns when your single-prize deck costs you games. So maybe Rapska, um, you know, I, I don't know if you're going to get it set up consistently enough. So that, that's something to try out. If you try it out, let me know in the comments below if you think it's a good, if, you, if it's, if it's a, a benefit to the deck or makes it worse. Anyway, take care, have some fun, and play some Pokemon.